Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Games Beth here today. Let's learn how to make a jump scare. Basically, anytime we touch a part, something is gonna go ahead and pop up in our screen. So inside of starter GUI, go ahead and add a screen GUI. Then go ahead and add a image label. Now for our image label, this is where we are going to paste the uh, jump scare picture that you want to use. So go ahead and click on the image and choose the file that you want to use. Click on create and then the picture is going to go ahead and take a few seconds to just load inside of your studio. Sweet, so now that we have our um, little jump scare picture, for me it's going to be Shrek, I want to go ahead and take the background transparency of my image label out. So go ahead and expand it to however you guys want it to. I'm pretty sure we can definitely, you know, um, properly size it by, you know, actually setting the size um, in our properties menu, but I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just resize it with the little corners. Cool, so inside of replicated storage, let's go ahead and add a remote event. I'll be renaming this to jump scare. Whatever you rename this to, just make sure you remember it because we'll be referencing it inside of our local script in just a second. Now, inside of the screen GUI that we are working on, go ahead and add a local script, delete our print statement. So we have a debounce, and for our function, anytime a player, you know, touches, or sorry, triggers the remote event jump scare, uh, which we will be setting up inside of our part in just a second. But once the remote event is triggered, then the screen, sorry, the image label will be true, it's going to be visible, and then the position of our image label, we're we want to set it. So udim2.new, we're actually gonna go ahead and paste the position of the image label um, that we want it to um, uh, go to. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize my Shrek to a very large portion of the screen. And then I'm gonna head over to where it says um, size I'm gonna go ahead and copy the X and Y coordinates and paste it there. So then once that's pasted, I'm gonna have it wait two seconds and then the image label will no longer be visible, but I want to make sure that I reset the size of my image label or else the next time I step on my part, it won't reset. It'll just still be big. It'll just be big. It won't have that little like small to large effect. So then once you're finished with that, make sure to untick visible inside of your image label. Alrighty, so inside of our workspace, go ahead and spawn in a part, and then let's go ahead and add a script inside of that part. Now, anytime, we're gonna go ahead and create a function where if a player slash humanoid touches this part, then it's going to go ahead and fire the remote event jump scare, and then that's it. So go ahead and add your part if you haven't already. All right, so let's go ahead and hop inside and test out our game. And yeah, it's so scary. <laughs> so as always, if you guys enjoyed this content, please give a like and a subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Check out our website for the full scripts and model. And as always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.